Today in our 2014 Lincoln MKX, we'll be installing the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13067. Here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, it's a very factory-like appearance. It's tucked up nicely behind a rear bumper cover here. The only part really hanging down is the Class 3 receiver here, and a little bit of the rectangular frame of the hitch. It has a nice high gloss black powder coat finish, so it's very durable. This hitch has a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating and a 400 pound tongue weight rating. It does not support weight distribution. We have these nice round tubular constructed safety chain hooks that will be even able to fit the smallest diameter of safety chains onto without a problem. We also have our standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole here for use with our hitch pin or our locking device. If you are using it for a non-trailer application, such as using it for a bike carrier or a cargo rack, you will need to use a stabilization strap, which is available separately on our website, to help support the load. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier, you're looking at about five inches from the center of the 5 8 diameter hitch pin hole to the rearmost point on our back bumper, and about 14 inches from the ground to the top of our two inch receiver opening. Okay, so here's what our hitch comes with. We have the actual hitch itself, the six spacer plates that our carriage bolts will drop down through. We have six flange nuts here and two pull wires to install our hardware. Now in order to install our hitch, we need to temporarily lower our exhaust. But before we do that, we need to support our exhaust with a strap or some metal wire or something of that nature just so we don't cause any damage to it from it hanging down. I'm going to take this strap here and I'll loop it in to our rear subframe just like so, and this will hold it up. Now we'll spray some lubricant on our exhaust hangers here. There's one on either side of the muffler, just so they slide off a little bit easier. And we'll pry our exhaust hangers off, just like so. Okay, now there's one additional hanger right here in front of the muffler where our two pipes join together in a Y. We'll spray that down as well. And we'll use our pry bar to remove it too. Now we need to take down our heat shields. There's two, one on the passenger side, one on the driver's side. There's three bolts that hold them in place, plus a plastic clip right here. These bolts are eight millimeter. Pull down our heat shield, just like so, and it comes out. Some wires clipped on the driver's side one. We'll use a trim panel tool to remove those. Coming from behind, pry it off. Now on our driver's side heat shield here, I already made a mark of a small area we need to trim off so our bolts for our hitch will have room to clear. Just using a pair of aviation snips or tin snips. We'll just trim off the shaded area. Okay, so our driver's side's done. Our passenger side's the same way. As you can see, I've marked off of a yellow paint marker here as well. Perfect. Now our driver's side, we'll take our heat shield here, reattach our wires to the back of it, raise it back up into position, reinstall the plastic panel fastener here, and secure it with the one bolt right there. We'll tighten it back down for eight millimeter. Now, on the frame rail here, we're not going to put the two bolts back in because we need the hitch to sit flush up against this frame rail. It'll still be secure because it'll be sandwiched between the frame rail and the hitch body itself. Now we'll do the same on the passenger side. Now we'll take our fish wire here, insert it into this front hole on the passenger side, and we'll feed it out 
through the back of our frame rail here in the bumper. So you can see where the fish wire came through in our frame rail right here. Now we can take our spacer plate and carriage bolt and thread them on. Spacer plate first, then our carriage bolt. Grab our pull wire. We'll feed these up into the frame rail. Now a pull wire and our carriage bolt comes on down. Just like so, take our pull wire off. And we'll do the same for this hole right here. And for pull wire down, we'll do the same. Spacer plate and carriage bolt. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Now with the help of an assistant, we'll raise our hitch up. Get our two bolts started. We'll tighten them up a little bit. Do the same on the other side. Now we'll take a small drill bit here and drill a pilot hole in our rear hole in our hitch. We'll do the same on the other side. Now we use a 17 30 seconds drill bit to enlarge our hole to the final size. So I'm using a step bit that goes out to the same size. This will also make it a little faster of an installation. Now we'll do the same on the other side. Take our fish wire again, go through it, just like so. And we'll feed it out the back. All right, got it. We'll take our final spacer plate on the passenger side, feed it on, install our carriage bolt. We'll feed it into the frame. All right. Take our pull wire off now. We'll install our hex flange nut. And we'll peep this process on the driver's side. Tighten it down. Now we'll torque all of our hardware here to the mount specified in the instructions. Okay, with our hitch now torqued, we can raise our exhaust back up into position. Okay. That one on, we'll do the driver's side. We can take your strap down now. Get out of the way. And we'll reinstall this forward hanger. And that completes our installation of the Kurt Class 3 trailer hitch receiver, part number C13067 on our 2014 Lincoln MKX.